The severe weather risk for today, Wednesday, December 15th, is increasing. We are now under a level four risk for severe weather. This is a significant upgrade from what we saw just last night because we have growing confidence in the threat for storms during the afternoon and evening today. On our severe weather threat tracker, that is a level four out of five. Between 4 and 8 p.m. is when those severe storms are likely. The primary threat for storms here will be damaging winds. That means that we could see in the line of thunderstorms gusts that are 70, 75, or perhaps as high as 80 miles per hour. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I understand if you're nervous about the weather today, I am as well. I would suggest that pretty much everyone in central Iowa be home by 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock at the absolute latest. Know where your storm shelter is located. We need to prepare for power outages. Uh, there's a very good chance we will see that in parts of Iowa. Have flashlights ready to go. Good idea to maybe charge your phone this afternoon before you potentially do lose power uh, late this afternoon and this evening just to have that prepared. the line of the storm moving in. Whistles sound like angels. Massive temperature change, huge gust of wind, probably the biggest we've had all day, and then within seconds, it was just not ice cold, but very cold air. It is a very clear temperature change. And as you can see, that squall line that I pointed out over here has now moved on, so we are definitely within the grasp of this storm. December 15th, 2021. Well, here we go. Oh, here comes the rain. Yes, thank you, God. We have a much better door. Thank you, Khaled. Wow, that was intense. Our first thunder, first lightning strike. You want to open it back up? Whoa, what is that? That big black thing, like yeah. a big bag it or looks something? It's like a bag, a trash bag. Yeah, whatever it was, just lined out on the vehicle. Probably traveled from some distance. Yeah, probably just came from Nebraska or Colorado. <laughs> change that we've just experienced. Get inside, fam, get inside. of our condo, we are in a great position for big storms. It's actually, you can hear freezing rain. There's freezing rain included in this. There's some sleet. 
because it's it's hitting. Ooh, that's a gust. Because that person's trying to run in it. Oh man. I could not have picked a worse time to run to your It doesn't really smell like normal rain either. Like it doesn't really have that calming smell to it. It has more like a metallic smell. Yeah, it does. You're right. Which could be the, the rain turning into snow. Oh, that's a good call. That's probably what it is. Okay, you're right. Yep. Yeah, it does smell like more like snow. Yep. All right, yeah. so according to the radar, we're on the edge, you said? Yep, so we're right here now, and this is the future. Oh yeah, so we're still in the yellow. Yep, around 6.30 is when we get to the red. So about 12 minutes, roughly. Yep. And we were at 75 degrees today, and you said it was, what, 49? Uh, yeah. We have 49 right now. 49. And it was probably, I don't know, 65 before this hit? So, yep. 15 degree temperature difference. In a matter of minutes. In a matter of minutes. Rain's coming down heavier now. The sirens are back on. It's the fourth time for the sirens, I believe? Yep. mom told me to stay away from this window. I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. <laughs> Alright, we're a little bit more severe now. You can see the rain is really coming down. Especially bouncing off the fire Christmas lights. Never in my life have I experienced a severe thunderstorm with winds like this in literally the middle of December. December 15th. We're still not in it yet. I just got a severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued for us, so we're not even in the in the worst of it yet. The siren just came back on for the fifth time tonight. We are officially in the red according to the radar. It's pretty calm compared to how it has been. It's pretty manageable thunderstorm. It's nothing out of the ordinary right now. Even the rain has kind of calmed down. We did have one really big gust about a minute ago or so, but I mean, all of our Christmas lights are still in place. So it shows that it's been manageable thus far, but that's not the same story for uh, a lot of the storm systems that are moving north of us right now. They're dealing with a lot worse conditions than we've had here in the Metro. This will most likely be my last update because we're coming out of the, the main part of the storm. As you can see, it's, it's pretty mellow compared to how it was earlier. If something crazy happens, I'll, I'll pull the camera back out and start filming, but it's been a pretty crazy night. It's been more stressful, I think, than anything. Just the build up to everything was probably more intense than the actual storm itself as a big gust comes through again.
but yeah, December 15th, 2021. First time I've ever experienced a severe weather event <laughs> during Christmas time. So we're here playing Luigi's Mansion and we hear this roar outside and the high wind warning continues. And it's hazy out here and we can smell fire and smoke. Also, another thing to note is the temperature has climbed back up. It was like freezing cold when the rain was coming through. And it's, I'd say what, probably 50s? Um, roughly. 60s. So Clive is currently 60 degrees with the wind and everything. It feels a little bit cooler than that, but. We got the scanner on trying to figure out where this fire is at. It's blown up our Christmas lights on top of our deck there. <laughs> it smells so, so smoky right it, now. It's getting stronger. We can't figure out where the fire is at, but we actually heard a, a sign get blown down. Okay, so the scanner that Tiny's listening to uh, literally just said. 3042. Just advise, we have that down south as well. Copy that, thank you. So they're talking about the smell of smoke. Apparently it's all over the city. So something's burning somewhere that they don't know about or smoldering or something. And it's causing this haziness and smell of smoke to be literally throughout the entire metro, it seems. Yep, and they're getting a bunch of calls about it right now. Yeah. Pretty crazy night, ladies and gentlemen. Here in good old Hawkeye State of Iowa in December. Clearly they're investigating it right now. sounds like an airliner so we we actually have a lot of planes that fly over here and go to the airport to the south of us and this is what it sounds like it just sounds like several jets are coming in for a landing all at the same time
Nearly half of Iowans are eligible for state aid to help rebuild from this week's winter windstorm. Homeowners can apply for up to $5,000 in state assistance after the governor issued a disaster declaration yesterday. 49 of Iowa's 99 counties are included. Now, not only was that storm unprecedented for December, it's now being declared a derecho. And I remember as it was coming, you were maybe thinking that it could have been one. Yeah, I mean, just with the track and how intense it was going to be for mm -hmm. the whole track of it. I mean, you look at derechos and you think damage over distance, you know, that needs to be like over 200, 250 miles uh, with these damage reports. And that's that's what we saw. So yeah. from about four to eight Wednesday night, me, Ann and Chris, uh, we're tracking the destructive storms and warning of those who were in its path. Uh, the National Weather Service confirmed 13 tornadoes hit our state. Six of them were considered strong with winds of up to 120 miles per hour. Behind the initial line, winds gusted up to 74 miles per hour. That's the highest non-thunderstorm wind gust ever recorded in Des Moines.